Hey, what's going on guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. Trust you guys are doing well. We're jumping right on into it here. You guys know another familiar face, Jason Creel. What's up, bud? How you doing? I, what, Brian called me. I wasn't expecting to see him today because he, did, he didn't come to Alabama much, but he called and said they were stopping by. I said, come on, so here we are. We're doing some shop tours, man. You got a beautiful yeah. shop behind us. Uh, whole brand new uh, addition to the home. You got a bunch of great things going on. By the way, it's been a minute since I caught up with you in person. Congrats on 100,000 subscribers. Okay. Well, was that a couple months ago? That's probably six months ago. Uh, that was in the summer. That was Brian, in the Brian gave me a generous tip on that day. I had him on as a as a, a guest, and he gave me a tip, so I appreciate that. But yeah, that super chats. Super chat, whatever. You call it. So, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm a little. I mean, my shop. I love my shop. It's the best shop I ever have. I'm hearing the stories of the other ones that are going to be on the tour here. I'm, I'm a little bit intimidated, but I. It is what it is. We're just going to go with it. This is a sweet setup. It's in the backyard of the property. You got a beautiful. How many acres is this, by the way? Uh, we have four acres. Four acres. This is a beautiful setup. Yeah. Don't be so bashful. This guy's got it going on. Uh, so really quick, before we jump into it, um, maybe like the 90 second like highlight reel. You know, like what, yeah. like who you. Are, where your background is because yeah. uh, you haven't been on the channel in a minute so yeah I'm Jason Creel I, I'm uh, on YouTube I've basically under the channel Lawn Care Life say basically I, that's where I am. I'm mostly on YouTube is what I should have said uh, it's Lawn Care Life but yeah we uh, I live in Trustville Alabama with my friend Jeremiah Jennings we don't live together but we're in the same hometown <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, it's about 25 minutes northeast of Birmingham so we bought a house uh, on four acres about four years ago, renovated a year and a half ago. And one of the reasons we bought this property to have a little bit of land is because I really wanted to be able to have my own workshop in my backyard. It's the convenience of that. I wanted to have a workshop in my own backyard and to be able to just load up in the morning and be gone for the day. And it's been, uh, been great. So what we did, uh, we bought the property. We had all this land cleared because it was just, it was literally so thick you couldn't walk through. It was just briars and Chinese privet and things like that cleared it and we built the workshop before we renovated the house you know which you got to have your priorities in order you know you got to have a good workshop and you can live in near anything um so got that built and actually built it myself uh with my dad's help my neighbor and my neighbor's dad and i would not recommend i think i actually spent more doing it myself than if i just paid somebody so i learned that lesson but at least i uh, know what went into it but it's a 36 by 36 shop with a 10 foot lean to mostly use the lean to just to keep my fertilizer and stuff because i don't want that in the building okay and then in the shop uh, it's big enough where I can just park my, my work truck, my spray truck, keep it out of the weather, keep it out of the cold weather in the winter to keep the pipes from freezing, things like that. Uh, and then, you know, we just we got a ping pong table, things like that. We enjoy doing. My son and I play a lot of ping pong. And, and of course, because we don't have a garage or basement on the house, it becomes Christmas decorations and all the things that end up in your workshop. But. Um, but it's been great and excited for you guys to check it out. Absolutely, brother. Well, uh, so you said 36 by 36, 10 foot lean to, or bigger lean to? Yeah, it's, I think it's 10 foot. Uh, That's pretty big. 10 foot deep. Now it's 36 feet. It's the oh, same long. length of the building, but it comes out 10 feet. Okay. I think 10 feet high. So basically I can double stack two pallets of fertilizer uh, in there and then two pallets deep. So I can get, you know, eight to 10 pallets of fertilizer. And uh, that's very helpful for certain times of the year. What uh, What's the total height of the building, if you don't mind me asking? Do you remember? I mean, I think at the very peak, you know, it, obviously it's it's a whatever, what do you call these, A-frame type deal, but the yeah. peak, it might be 20 feet or something like that. I think on the, the edges, it's 12 feet high. 12 feet, okay. So 12 feet walls, you know, and uh, we got a lift. That was one of the closest near-death experiences I had. We had a, a we rent a lift. Again, this is why you don't do stuff like this by yourself, especially if you don't know what you're doing, but you rent a lift and we're holding the, the trusses, you know, the metal trusses. And we got one person on one side and on a ladder, I think. One person maybe on the lift holding them and trying to get a, a bolt in there to hold the thing. And the thing starts wobbling and about knocked you off the ladder. You know, so <laughs> it was uh, it was just just pay somebody to do stuff like this. I mean, you really don't save a lot of money. What are we doing? <laughs> Jeremiah's just laughing. We're giving you the best we got, folks. <laughs> yeah, this is the best we got. <laughs> this is... So, so hire a professional, right? Exactly. I mean, I literally, because like I said, you, you think you're saving money 
one, you're way slower than the professional. So it took us three weeks. It literally probably took them three days. Okay. Um, so you're paying labor. You know, even though it wasn't free labor, I had some help. But then things like that lift. I had to go rent that thing. Well, I'm sure they got one, you know, or, or they or have something that to make make it work. So <laughs> you really don't save a lot of money. I love it. I love it. Well, no, I mean, hey, if you're balling on a budget, that's fine too. And it looks great from the outside. Uh, you want to do the inside tour? Oh yeah, let's do it. All right, here's my shop. This is basically standing where my truck goes. Now it's not it's not cleaned up. I've got you know chicken food in here. I got chickens. I got ping pong table over here. I mean, it's really the most important thing other than keeping the <laughs> the truck is is the ping pong table. And uh, we have a serious pollen problem in Alabama, so that yellow Whoa. smear pattern is is some pollen from me leaving the door open when I shouldn't have. So need to clean that up. I um just built some work i feel like workshop you got to have workbenches now i don't really work a lot on them but they just and nothing <laughs> else for the appeal the what do you call it the aesthetics of it right um got my toro lawnmower in here the that's the old ground logic fertilizer spreader it usually stays on the rack on the back of my truck but i uh, cleaned it up today because i got done fertilizing and i thought well let me clean it up and just put it over there for now um so i'm getting another big ride on unit soon so i've got to clear out some space my daughters like to do gymnastics so we got gymnastics beams we got gymnastics mats pull up bar i got a fish i caught a long time ago <laughs> I mean, so you know it, it's not super organized but well here we'll go we'll go through the whole tour there you right, go let's just let's maybe <laughs> do a little more the, the wall of fame you know <clears throat> these are my lawnmower blades okay? <laughs> for my lawnmower Speed feed heads, I love these things. Do you use these, Brian? We do, all uh, Echo Speed Feed 400s. All right. My grandmother and great-grandmother cross-stitched these by hand probably 30 years ago. All kind of uh, baseball stuff. This is my dad, my brother, me, shooting deer. I just tried to make a little bit of a memory board. Got this done at the Equip Expo on a, by the oh, permagreen. Awesome. They drew my kids. Um, so some artwork there. I tried to do uh, collection of my yard signs for my business Alabama Lawn Pros. This was one I, I used to have. Then I went to this one and now I'm rocking with the chameleon eating the dandelion which I really like. Me and my son. What's played. the chameleon? Like any reference or any like? I just wanted uh, something to something different. I guess got tired of a boring leaf. You know I said well, who, who's got a chameleon eating a dandelion? So I wanted something <laughs> a little a little different here. We got some weights mostly for inspiration in case we decide to use them someday feeling frisky yeah they're they're, they're, they're um solidly rusted out a little bit <laughs> they were like that when i got them <laughs> so, let's see what we got over here opti tool do you use that brian i've never heard of it oh is it like the hand washing stuff no this is the two cycle oil but okay, it's, never it's got fuel stabilizer built into it <laughs> and and what i like about it i mean this is not necessarily a commercial for opti too but um, you can it don't matter if it's 40 to 1 50 to 1 ratio whatever you put the same amount in there it just works i mean i i've been using it for years and it's got the fuel stabilizer built into it so that's good maybe enough. they can sponsor your tour next year uh, <laughs> um let's see I love spiker spreaders. Yeah, they're good they, people. They, they came to one of my events one time. They left their banner for me, so I appreciated that. You confiscated the banner? No, they la they gave it to me for real. They, <laughs> oh. that, I asked if they want. They said oh, you can have it. So, um, my lawnmower. I got this Toro 60 inch mower. So I have four acres, and part of it's kind of a soccer field driving range in our backyard so i is this the one that's famous on instagram that's got like 50 million views it's mostly famous on paul uh jameson's channel it's not very famous on my channel but uh, but he split those followers with you right he's uh, <laughs> like 50 50. split them in no he's yeah i think i've got four thousand he's got like a hundred and something thousand <laughs> anyway yeah that is the more we drive <laughs> even right now paul got a hundred thousand uh, followers on instagram on jason's mower on jason's mower with jason mowing well, it was honestly I, i'm happy for you it was my fault because i didn't i wasn't publishing the videos and, uh, <laughs> paul's an opportunist uh, paul, paul's publishing i wasn't publishing them, so uh, paul with the green industry podcast if you guys don't know shout out to paul all right i, I prefer I prefer Husqvarna trimmers. This one, this is not my favorite. My favorite ever was a 326 LS. It weighed nine pounds. I, I loved it. This is the 
322L. It's fine, but it's it's not as good. But the reason I like them is this sponsored by Steel or Echo or somebody. Yeah, Steel. So. Yeah, that's fine. Add, that's that's okay. If you like Husqvarna, right. you like Husqvarna. All right, I like it. What I like about Husqvarna <laughs> is you can flip them upside down, and they they just they don't stall out or anything. And uh, sure. Anyway, I I just think they're not. I mean, they're not perfect. The the handles and stuff are plastic and not the most comfortable, but. Overall, I find them very durable. Really, really quick question on the loft. Um, was this here? Like, did you? Well, you built this whole thing that you guys said, so it wasn't here initially. But was that part of the plan? Because it, it's a really nice loft and a lot yeah. of extra storage. So when we got done building it, it was like the building's tall. You know, what are we gonna do with a 20 foot uh, ceiling? And we got all this stuff because we we were living in a three bedroom, one bath house at the time and, and so we just had all this stuff that was in my wife's grandmother's basement and then that house sold and so we had to get it out of the grandmother's basement and we needed somewhere to put it. so these people just said hey why don't you build a loft you know sure and uh so that's what we did uh, actually from our renovation of our house we took the the uh what do you call those the the floor joist of the loft came from our the renovation of our house we were gonna have a, a flat ceiling in a room in our house and my wife, they started putting in those boards to make a flat seat. And my wife said, no, I want a vaulted ceiling. Right. And so we had all these boards. And so we took those boards and built the loft with it and the decking and all that. And it's really, I mean, it's built to hold up, you know, like a house. I mean, my anything, it, it's, it's very strong. So we got a lot of stuff up there. Mostly stuff I don't want in my way when I'm, I'm down here. So yeah, uh, good storage though. Good use for yeah. extra storage. Now I built that. I built that. that was, I'm not a carpenter, but I, I was able to build that shelf right there um, with some leftover stuff, Christmas decorations, things like that. And then as you get up on, on the loft, uh, you know, I, I don't think there's anything really. There's a leftover trampoline screen. I mean, you know, pull up bar. I do, I do do some pull ups occasionally. So we got that. Um, Try to think. Workbench, you got a nice workbench back yeah, there? Yeah, I did build the workbench, so we're happy about that. And I've got better lighting back here too, so. Um, Fancy. Anyway, sharpen your blades, whatever. You got, you got things like that going on. This is how I jack my mower up. People get on to me all the time on YouTube. I change the mower blades. I, I still pick the mower up by the deck. I don't know how else you're supposed to pick it up. I really, super jack, the Ballard super well, I jack. I if you got one of those. I don't have one of those that, that you pull the up. We'll get you one. Yeah. No, I got you. But anyway, <laughs> I pick it up by the deck. I've never damaged it yet, but I, I can see where it, it's not ideal sometimes. Yeah. And then, oh, this is one of my best inventions. People, people, this probably, worth the price of watching the video here. If you use the floor joist to make extra storage. So all these fishing poles and uh, my Milwaukee tool, uh, my Milwaukee tool system, you know, I just got all the attachments stored up here. Uh, so. You're very resourceful. I thought that was one of my better Are things these, Is this did. custom with the nail? Uh, the I, I custom inserted that screw to hold the. Custom. Yeah, so it's basically Milwaukee tool stuff and um, fishing poles. I get it. I dig like it. This. Looks good. I <laughs> uh, got tools, garbage cans. I'm into chickens, so we got chicken nesting pads, <laughs> dartboard. I love this. We got this custom hard hat for Alabama lawn pros. Dude, my son likes Dude Perfect. Um, so we have the Dude Perfect basketball go we don't use. I've got some videos planned for like cheapest weed eaters on Amazon kind of videos. So this is one of the cheapest things. This is really nice. This is what Brian uses on his for his business. Wrangler <laughs> <laughs> uh, Star would be proud. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I actually built this as a uh, rolling miter saw table. So instead of you like making sawdust all over your shop, you, you roll it out the door, plug it in, and all the sawdust is outside. So somebody told me about that, and so we did that. Uh, hey, got, the, uh, I gotta interrupt really quick. The Graham Spray right. Equipment, those are some really good folks. I know you uh, yeah. use some spray equipment from them. Yeah, so my spray rig's from Graham Spray Equipment. They're in Douglasville, Georgia, the longtime sponsor of my channel, so I really appreciate it. As well as Yard Book. I'm, me and Brian are Yard Book people, so We're I, hanging in there. I can <laughs> appreciate me, that. Me and you, versus all the jobber people <laughs> yeah well i like the I, I like 
I like Yardbook because I use Yardbook as my own uh, in, in CRM for my own yep. local business, and that's <clears throat> that's why and they've always been great to me. Uh, but yeah, Graham's great. They build the spray rigs on the back of my truck for us. We control and fertilization guys, so they're a bunch of great people to work with. Also. Absolutely. We got a filing cabinet. Had to keep a bunch of records, tax documents, things like that. So um, let's see. That's the full, full horseshoe, the full tour. Yeah. Where do where do you get the fishing uh, statue or uh, thing up top? Oh. <laughs> well, I told people I used to actually dabble a little bit in taxidermy. I don't know if this will show up on my phone, but uh, if it will, it might be. <laughs> Hold on. What do you mean dabble in taxidermy? Like you well, have stuff or are you a full stuff? I used to, uh, my dad, and people think this is what people in Alabama do. It's not necessarily, but I, I used to, my dad had a friend who was a taxidermist on the side. So I used to do a little taxidermy, you know, and, and I made one time my, big, my best creation was a full size swamp monkey. And people say, well, what's a swamp monkey? A swamp monkey, you actually take the rump of a deer and you turn it into a face with teeth, the sponsors will love this, with like raccoon teeth, alligator, and take the tail and make a mohawk, or you do it upside down and make a goatee. Well, I, I had made the heads where I said, I'm gonna make a full body one. And so, uh, if I, I don't know if I can find the picture. Well, anyway. You send me the photo. We'll, we'll put it up on the screen, you know uh, what I'm saying? It, we'll it's, get it. It's, um, it's unique, and he's holding a bass and had a quail on his show. It was a taxidermy. I've always been artistic, Brian. I've so down in your free time, you're you know, craftsman uh, Jason, and then taxidermy Jason. Yeah, I quit doing that, you know, after I got married and stuff, but um, <laughs> but Good I used call. to dabble with it a little bit. Good call. <laughs> Good marriage tip. <laughs> yeah. that'll, that'll keep your marriage solid. I, I really could use some tips if you watch this one to give me some, you know, like, I feel like I'm wasting a lot of space. Like I had this guy take some pallet boards. He made this unbelievable board here and I was planning on doing some videos like talking head videos with this board. But now I feel like I, I'm not doing that because the lighting is not, not great in here. And now I got this whole wall that's it's almost wasted, you know, so I need this. And this board's pretty cool. I mean, it's like custom made and stained. So I, I don't know if I should do like photos or try to make something neat out of it. So leave some comments down below. The, yeah, uh, the creative board of uh, fame. Yeah, so I just, you know, it's a decent sized shop, but it just gets filled up fast. So I, I need organization tips. You know, I said I, I put, I offered my fishing rod storage tip, but I need some more help than just that. <laughs> so I love it, man. Well, uh, that's kind of all I got. Um, anything else that you want to add, really quick? But uh, if not, man, thanks for the tour. This is actually pretty dope. I know <laughs> you're like one of the funniest people I've ever met. But uh, what? Anything else you got, or where can people find you, maybe? Yeah, they, you can find me on YouTube, Lawn Care Life, and then on Instagram, The Lawn Care Life. But I, um, I just try to tell it like it is, Brian. You know, I, I appreciate you coming by, and uh, this is. I like when people come see us in our home because it's it's more realistic and you see our family and we're just I'm a family man got four kids and a wife and we have four acres and chickens and whatever it's not it's not uh, Brian was telling me one of his friends was telling me the difference in redneck and country and southern I'm not sure what combination <laughs> of that um, you guys are what I I don't know I, I just we're just down to earth people and out working hard in my business, come home, spend time with my family. And I like being out here in my workshop and messing around. So it's something I enjoy. I love it, man. Hey, by the way, if people uh, outside of the, learning more about shops, but uh, fertilizer, that's what your channel is all about and, and so much more. Uh, so where, where is that, is that at again? Yeah, you just go to lawncarelife.com. My primary product is called the Weed Control and Fertilization Academy. So it's a video course and I'm gonna try to add some uh, coaching, things like that into that. So mostly are people with warm season grasses that are wanting to get into weed control and fertilization like I did. And it just, cool. it's been a great move for my business and I try to tell people what I've learned. Awesome, brother. Well, hey, super appreciate the tour and uh, we'll uh, let you go. But thanks again for uh, being on the tour and uh, we'll be catching up with you soon. All right, thanks, Brian.